Hi everyone, welcome to Art with Miss Lin. This week we are going to create a quick drawing using geometric shapes and organic shapes. Since Halloween is coming up, we are going to do a drawing related to Halloween. So what are some of the things that you can think of that you see a lot during Halloween? I think you see this picture a lot. Some jack-o'-lanterns, right? Um, some of you might have carved out a jack-o'-lantern using pumpkin. So we are going to create a scene of the jack-o'-lantern, which has a lot of geometric shapes combined with some organic shapes that you see here with the ghost. This is a collage that I make. If you want, you could try to make a collage also. A collage is a picture that is created by using paper, different kinds of paper materials to put together. But we are focusing on just the drawing today. So let's start with something simple. We practice doing different kinds of lines. So I'm going to start with some zigzag and try to make some grass, right? Different kinds of up and down. So we could make the grass here. Kind of like a first layer and then we can do um, the jack-o'-lantern so we have practiced drawing pumpkin before you can do one big oval shape it could be a tall one or it could be a rounder and shorter one so up to you so let's draw a round pumpkin and then I'm gonna add one that is taller so pumpkins come in different shapes, right? But they all have some thing on the top, which is the stem. All right. So the next thing is to draw the lines. We have practiced drawing a pumpkin a few weeks ago. So now we're going to add faces. Think about how you would like um, the jack-o'-lantern expression to be. Mostly for um, some jack-o'-lanterns, there are they have um, orange eyes, which is pretty common. So I'm gonna do some. I mean triangle, not orange. Some triangles for the eyes. I am using Sharpie so the lines come out really strong but when you are sketching maybe you could start with a pencil and then if you have Sharpie markers you can ink it make it darker so do you want your pumpkin to be happy or like angry or does it have those kind of mouth that looks a little bit scary kind of like that so all the shapes that I am creating on the pumpkin, I am going to color it all dark. You don't have to color it black. You could also do yellow, right? So it looks like there's like light coming up. Let's try another organic shape. I mean, a uh, geometric shape, sorry. So we could do circle. Maybe I could add the eye, leave the eye kind of like this. There are all kinds of shape you could use for the nose. You can do circle, you can do the triangle again, right? If you are happy, maybe you want to draw a very happy jack-o'-lantern. And if you want to add some teeth, you could just do that. So now we have the pumpkins. The next thing is think of the organic shapes, which is the ghost. So remember organic shapes are kind of like random wavy lines or shapes that has no no names. So it could be 
something like that. Or if you want to make the coast kind of more like a geometric shape, then you would use like a big um, curve and like a semicircle at the bottom looks like a fabric or cloth. Right? And you can add the eyes. If you want to draw a cute ghost, something that is kind of child friendly. Or if you want to draw a ghost that's a little bit more scary, then you're using different shape. Right? I'm going to draw one more in the middle. That's more organic, like this. I'm sure you have your own way of drawing the ghost. And then what you can do is you can add more things if you want, or um, you can just color it so it looks like a complete finished drawing. All right, a quick, simple drawing for you. Have fun. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.